Having an address plaque is the perfect way to display your house numbers or your family's name on your home. Lowe sell these customizable kits, but it can take two to three weeks to get it. If you don't want to be bothered with the trouble or the cost, I will show you an inexpensive and a quicker way to make your own. If you have some scrap wood lying around the house, get it. All you need is wood, L brackets, wood screws, and house numbers, which you can get from any hardware store. To make your planter box, cut the wood to your desired size that you want. It could be any size you want, big or small. Here I'm adding my pieces that my husband had cut for me. Then I'm going to add and secure the L brackets to the plaque. You can add real or fake flowers to your pot. If you're going to add real flowers, drain a hole on the bottom for proper drainage. The house numbers are from Lowe's and I chose a satin nickel finish and they were $4.98 each. If you're military, show your ID card to get an additional 10% off. I couldn't leave my plaque bare. I jazzed it up with a paint finish the same way I painted my DIY wall clock. I'll have that video linked down below. Now I'm going to be honest, I didn't use any type of technique to place my house numbers on my plaque. I totally eyeballed it on trying to center them. Adding an address plaque to your home gives it that little extra something to accentuate your curb appeal. It's a great way for people to see your house numbers off a distance. If you don't want to hang your planter box, you don't have to. You can place it by your doorstep and it's just as good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and I'll be talking to you guys very soon. Thanks everyone for watching.